Uh, in this talk, I will introduce a new network game of dynamic traffic. Uh, this is joint work with Zhigong Tao, Bo Chen, and Xu Jinchen. As we all know, self-routing is a fundamental model in algorithm game theory, and it has been well studied in the nearly past 20 years. And uh, the basic model is like this. There are some players who want to travel from one place to another place. Each player selfishly chooses a path. Uh, suppose there are X players using this edge, then all players using this edge will suffer a latency Fex. Then every player wants to minimize his total latency. As we can see, this kind of flow is essentially a static flow. But in reality, sometimes dynamic flow is an important feature of many problems. Study about dynamic flows has a rich history. Uh, but mainly from an uh, optimization perspective. In recent years, dynamic flow games has attracted more and more attention from ADT community. One, research main uh, one main research direction is about uh, non-atomic dynamic flow games. Non-atomic means that the flow is like water. Every player is a particle. There are already some nice results about this kind of studies, but still quite limited. About atomic dynamic flow games, the results are even less. In other words, the dynamic flow games are quite uh, unexploded. OK, the following, I will introduce a generic setting of the atomic dy uh, dynamic network flow games, and then introduce our model. Suppose we are given a finite directed acyclic graph G with a single origin O and transition D. Time is discretized as 0, 1, 2, to infinity, and the players are atomic. At each integer time point R, a set of players enter the network from origin O, trying to reach the destination D as quickly as possible. For each at E, there are two integer parameters. CE, capacity CE, and uh, transit time T. This kind of model belongs to the so-called determinist QU model, which was introduced by Vickery in 1969. The model is like this. At each time, all the players that have reached E and are trying to pass through at E form a queue at E's tail. <coughs> and only the first at most, the first CE players can enter the edge immediately, and all the others have to wait for the next time. After entering edge E, the transit time of this edge is a constant T. So for every player, his latency on each edge includes two paths. One pass is the variable uh, waiting time. Another is a constant <coughs> transit time. The queue rule, rule here is quite simple. Look for first in, first out. Who arrive early, who are in front of the queue. Okay? But we still need a tie-breaking tie rule in case of same arrival time. Most of previous works use player, predefined player priority to break ties. To make this model complete, we still need to know what are the player strategies. All player work assume players choosing paths as their strategies. Okay, what, are, what is our model? In our model, there are two critical and crucial differences. The first one is we use edge priorities to break ties. For example, there are two players arrive at this vertex at the same time. One from at E3, another from at E1. Suppose E1 has higher priority than E3, then the player from E1 will enter this ad first. To make edge priorities always work, we split each edge into CE unit capacity edges. So, this is equivalent to say each ad has unit capacity. 
The second critical difference is that we allow players to make flexible decisions. They choose agents. So this is to say, uh, as, as when a player arrives new attacks, he then decides which is the next edge he will you try to use based on the current system state and all the player's previous decisions. We denote this extensive form of game as game gamma. And we consider the equilibrium concept sub-game perfect equilibrium. Uh, let's look at a very simple example to make it clear. Suppose this is a network and each edge has a unit capacity and a unit length. Uh, there are only two players, player one and player two. Player one has a higher original priority than player two. That means if they use same edge, then player one will enter the, from O, oh, uh, player one will enter first. And we also assume edge E1 has higher priority than E3, edge E2 has higher priority than E4. Player one strategy like this, he first choose edge O V. When he arrives at V, if he finds player two use this edge, then he will choose this edge. If he otherwise he will always choose this edge. Player two strategies like that, he will choose the upper edge and then follow it to D. So it's easy to check. This is a powerful strategy of an SPE strategy of this intensive form game. No player can be better off by unilaterally changing his strategy. And the final, and player two will one time later than player one to arrive at D. Even though the SPE strategy can be quite complex, but finally they will induce a path profile. So we also consider a very simplified normal form game, gamma N. At this game, all players will choose their one of OD paths simultaneously at the very start. And when they enter the system, they will follow the uh, path is the chosen. And the equilibrium is not equilibrium. Okay, apparently we can see this edge, this path profile is not a Nash equilibrium of this of this simple uh, normal form game. Because a player one to this path, then player two's best strategy to this path, then they will arrive at the same time. Okay, let's have an overview of our main results. First, we prove that the SP existence of game gamma. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first such results, uh, SP existence results about this kind of model. The main challenge here is that the strategies can be very complicated, and uh, there may be infinite number of players they make decisions simultaneously and sequentially. So we cannot use the euro backward induction to prove this. In fact, we use a construct method to prove the SPE existence. I want to emphasize here that the key to SPE existence is the edge priority. We have an example to show if we use player priorities to break ties, then the SPE may not exist. Then we characterize all Nash equilibrium of the simplified game gamma n. We prove that all Nash equilibrium satisfy some nice re properties like global first in, first out. Each Nash equilibrium is a strong Nash equilibrium, which means each Nash equilibrium is a weakly Pareto optimal, and some other nice properties. Note here, edge priority also play a quite important role. If we use, pre, we use player priority to break ties, then the nice property may not, still not hold. Then use uh, these nice properties we prove, given any Nash equilibrium of the simplified game gamma, then we can construct an SP strategy of the game gamma, such that the SPE will exactly induce the same NE. Combining with the previous example, this means to say, 
the set of all Nash equilibriums of the same flight model is a proper subset of the path profiles of the previous or in, uh, the uh, path profile induced by all SPEs of the more the intensive form game. Then we study another problem. If at each time the number of players enter the network is no larger than the minimum OD card size, then whether the Q length is at each edge and at any time is always bounded by a constant. The constant can be determined by the parameters of the network. This has been listed as the open problem by some other works. We prove that the, we prove this is true for serial parallel networks. And we also prove for SPE, Q, the body, the Q length for uh, some other works, networks. There are also many, about this problem, there are still many, many problems remain open, like the Q length is for general networks. Can we give, can we give something about the equilibrium efficiencies and some others? That's all, thanks for your attention.